What's up guys? We're back, we're back, and I want to go ahead and share a couple of ideas with you guys real quick on what I feel has been really, really uh, kind of repeating itself to me and how I think what I've been doing lately and what I've been focusing on lately was really on understanding how I perceive myself, how I look at myself, how I really, really want to go upon, I say, doing my everydays, right? And going upon my everyday. And I think the, the littlest of habits and the littlest of uh, actions do kind of signify how we are seeing ourselves and how we portray ourselves. Um, I first, you know, a couple of, I would say a year ago, I, I felt that I didn't want to, that I must hoard and save and really, and really to lose what I, I had gained. And this kind of goes against what we are here to be in this abundance, right? And what I've been learning is that the more you're able to give freely with no attachments, I'm not talking about giving to others to get something back. Just giving back, helping others, and really being of service, and and also giving back, and also giving from monetary as well. Not just giving from service, but also giving and able to be prosperous and abundance and very generous. I think has been one of the things that I've learned so far in how so I think we kind of overlook the importance of being generous. And how maybe the generosity has something to do with how we view ourselves and how we think that we're not enough and we're not big enough to, to accomplish or conquer or even be this magnificence of abundance and of light. Because if we're not generous, I feel that we really have to understand where it comes from, why we think that way, and why do we feel that we'll be in lack if we're generous. Because if the laws of the universe state that, you know, the more you give, the more you get back, then that means the more you're able to give of yourself, the more you're able to give of, of um, whatever it may be, whether it may be a service, maybe it may be monetary wise, maybe money. Why does generosity come into play when it comes to being able to expand? And I think the more I've been able to expand and, and grow and being and being able to actually access parts of me that I didn't know existed has been when I've been able to grow and my generosity level has also gone up. I've been more generous. I've been more giving. I've been more uh, forgiving, which is all part of that. Um, but I, I've, I really wanted to talk about how we kind of overlooked that, and I did overlook that as well. I saw generosity as only people that they were generous because they were able to give, they were able to to splurge. But I have learned really quickly that I'm totally wrong. Being generous doesn't mean that you are are able to splurge. Being generous is a feeling, a way of thinking, an emotion, and a characteristic of yourself that has nothing to do with your circumstances. Um, if you're generous when you don't have any any um, abundance is a, is a I think a trait and a and a beauty to it it's a light from yourself I think it shows your, your character your soul um, and it's just naturally by law you're gonna have to multiply and expand and abundance will come to you in a ample amounts of money, ample amounts of abundance, right? And again, I was one that thought that didn't, that didn't exist. I believe that you had to, you know, growing up, being the first uh, the first generation of immigrant parents that came to this country, and they have these fears and all these ways of moving around because of what they faced when they came to this country. Um, I learned very fast that um, I've, I've been carrying these beliefs with, with me from my parents, from my upbringing and and I'm seeing that slowly but surely as I expand as I grow in the journey I understand that the only way you can outgrow this is by doing what feels better what feels good and for me generosity feels good it feels um, like this is what I'm supposed to be doing being generous being giving being able to give back to anybody that 
the needs of help or or being able to gener- to be able to give freely knowing believing that it's coming back um, and investing in myself as well I think generosity and investing in yourself goes hand in hand um, if you don't feel like you're worthy of a new uh, equipment for your business I know for myself buying a new camera for the YouTube channel was very very it was a hard thing because I felt like I didn't want to waste any type of money or big type of money in my eyes to to invest in, into my business but I switched it around saying you know I have to be able to put money into my business in order for it to give me back and I think we've been taught that you know you can obviously it's not only about the equipment your content has to be great and what you bring to the table also has to be great but you have to be able I feel like you have to be able to also invest in yourself whether it be books whether it be um giving other to investing in myself I feel, I feel like it doesn't have to only be in material equipment um courses uh college books as I, if i haven't said it again but it's also about really being able to feel good in in, in thing doing things for others um and, and that feeling carries on throughout the day um i know uh the more generous i can be the more giving that i can be the better i feel about whatever situation i'm going through whatever uh circumstance that i feel like is not good right now generosity always outweighs all of that so today i wanted to go ahead and share with you guys you know generosity is free um if you don't have to, if you don't have to give of your possessions or your time but just being generous um and also giving something a little bit of your possessions to others that may be in need is a feeling that will expand and multiply within you and will only come back tenfold in in more of whatever it is that you're giving so um hopefully you guys try this out and let me know guys peace